You know, there are many Jewish attitudes about the Messiah. Some Jews are not waiting for a Messiah at all because some Jews don't actually believe in life after death, especially some secular Jews. But the Orthodox world, the religious Jews, are looking for a Messiah who's going to come, who's going to transform this earth, who's going to liberate them and reveal himself. And Christians are waiting for the Messiah to come a second time. When Jesus came the first time, many Jews did not recognize him at all. He did not fulfill their expectations of someone who would throw off the Romans and give them political liberty and, and you know, vindicate them. When Jesus comes as the Messiah and as the, as the Tayeb for the Samaritans, and when he comes as Messiah for the Muslims, it's going to be a moment of revelation where all these people who hunger and long for God will recognize in him the fulfillment of their heart's cry. And we might be surprised. We might be surprised at who God will say, I heard you calling and I am calling you. Because we have that very interesting statement in um, the book of Romans that when the deliverer comes out of Zion, all Israel will be saved. And of course, we can extend Israel to include, you know, all the people who have been grafted in, etc., into the tree of Israel. But when the deliverer comes out of Zion, many scholars feel that means at the second coming. At the second coming, God will finish what we are in our small way trying to help do, which is to show his love to people, to reveal who his Messiah is, to reveal how he's loved the world through him. And our job is to help extend that love in the name of Jesus. And yet there will be some who, because of the veil over their face or because of the circumstances of their life, haven't come to a full recognition. But when he comes, the eyes of many will be opened. And God will name those who are his children, and he'll know who aren't his children. And we might be surprised that we see who is in that group.